Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a home bargain haul. So let's get cracking. Hiya, I hope you're all okay. Oh, I'm so excited to be back properly. Okay, so if you're wondering what this is here, um, just off camera, that's my bed. I've had a move around because I was sick of sitting in the dark corner when it came to filming. So I thought I'd move my room around so that I've got direct sunlight coming from the window. So I used to be over there, the bottom of my bed, where I used to film. Now I've moved to here. So um, here's my bed. Over in that corner is my um, hanging rail for my clothes and there's my sofa. Okay, so more direct sunlight coming through means that sometimes you're going to see shadows on this wall, but it also means that I'm able to film for longer in the sort of the winter months um, because the light fades so quickly. In that corner, in that corner, it's already dark. I don't know why I ever filmed in that corner. I think I just sort of put my stuff there, you know, when I, my relationship broke down last year and I've never got around to changing it. But this week I decided I'm having a move around. I'm sick of sitting in a dark corner when it comes to filming, absolutely sick of it. So anyway, I've got some money, right, which is good, which means I'm back to eating properly um, and I've started slimming, right, as of today. So we'll see how long that lasts. Might not last till tea time, do you know what I'm saying? But anyway, no, I'm doing my level best because I did put on a bit of weight over Christmas. And some of the clothes that used to be comfortably um, fitting me are now tight. Okay, and when I say tight, I mean really tight. Okay, so I'm just going to try and lose the bit of weight that I put on over Christmas. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, size 10 or anything. I just want my clothes to fit me again comfortably. So started that today. Um, yeah, and I've been having a really nice weekend. I went to meet um, one of my daughters yesterday because I went and had my nails done. Although, I have to tell you this as well, I have got a film, um, a video that I made last week, um, sort of at the end of last week, Friday, were it? Friday. Um, that I made in that corner, um, but I'm still waiting for the go-ahead from the company that sent me the stuff um, in order to post it. So at some point, you're going to see me with different nails, right, back in that corner. I haven't changed my mind. It is just a video that I've already filmed that I can't post until I get the go-ahead. But anyway, my daughter went for her nails doing. I got mine in this cherry red colour. I quite like them, you know. I like a dark colour. I do, right? Um, it, I just like darker colours and uh, the lassie that did them, um, is it Tony? Anyway, right, <laughs> can't remember, but anyway, um, that she did them um, and I absolutely love this colour. But my daughter went for her nails doing as well. Um, so she drove over here and uh, we went and had coffee and things afterwards, just had a nice old chat. So I had a, I've had a lovely weekend. I've just been watching loads of YouTube and things, just chilling out, ready for... Going back to work on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do like my job. It's just, uh, yeah, there's a bit of pettiness going on in the mo at the moment. But I'll tell you about that in another video. But anyway, right, own bargains. I went down twice. Right. I first went walked down there. I just went to that little one. I first walked down there because I was desperate to buy food and drinks and stuff like that for myself. I had no coffee, nothing, right? So I um, really needed a lot of food. But then, because it's been a few days since I went, I ate quite a lot of it, right? So I went back down there on yeah, yesterday and got myself some more bits and pieces. So I've got my bags here. The good thing about being set up here is as well, I'm remembering when I, when I stopped filming to put my gigs on here so that I don't end up without gigs in future. So, said gigs, I am now going to put on. Okay, are they clean enough? They're a bit dusty. Ecky thump. I don't know. That's because I've been moving everything around, dusting everywhere, you know. But anyway, put my gigs on. That'll have to do. Okie dokie, where's my own bargains bags? Here they are. <coughs> I'm saying, you know, where are they? Because I've got a pile of bags down here because I'm filming today. 
So I want to get um, other videos uh, filmed today. Okay, before I go back to work. Okie dokie, so I bought myself some kitchen roll. All right, so I bought toilet roll. I'm using what's left of my kitchen roll as toilet roll at the moment because I refuse to pay the prices of the court, which is my local shop. And I've been twice to own bargains. I've got to get myself some toilet paper. So yeah, anyway, so, but I do have some kitchen rolls. <laughs> Oh my goodness, when your mind's just a blank when you go shopping. I've no idea how much it costs me, it were only cheap. But anyway, I will um, put all prices on the screen, do you know what I mean? Buffalo, power performance, 100 sheet pack. The good thing about using kitchen roll for toilet paper when you like run out of toilet paper is one square's quite good, do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, so at least I've got some kitchen roll. Tied me on until I get somewhere where I'm prepared to pay the price of the toilet paper. Anyway, there's that one. They're, oh my goodness, I can even use these. Look, these are even better. These were 19p each and I actually bought them to take into work. They're just pocket handkerchiefs. Uh, 12 three ply, 19p for a pack. I just really liked them. I think the tissues inside are just white. It's only the packages that are different. Got the sniffles. Humble vintage pocket tissues and just some pocket tissues with sort of London -y effect things on. Let's open one. I'll be using these for toilet paper rather than the kitchen roll. Yeah, they are just white until I get round to getting some. But at least I've got those, you know. Mind when I was a kid, right? There used to be a family live near to us and they used to use the, with our local paper around here is Telegraph and Argus, right? And uh, if they'd run out of toilet paper, they used to use Telegraph and Argus, which I always thought were hilarious, right? Um, but anyway, right, at least I'm not resorting to TNA, you know, a newspaper. I've got some pocket tissues now. Anyway, right, what else did I get? I bought myself some Green Giant sweet corn. Absolutely love this stuff. This is my favourite sweet corn. I don't really like cheap tin sweet corn. I will eat it if I've got no else, but I really, really like this. Um, so I got myself a big tin of that. That's going to go into several meals. That I might do some meal prepping this week. Um, I sort of thought I might make myself like a, a veggie, um, like vegan um, chilli or something like that and freeze it in portions. So I've got some in my freezer. And I'll stick some of this in. I know most people don't put sweet corn in chilli, but if you're not making it with me, you know, I like this to bulk it out. So anyway, I got that one. Might just have some on some toast at some point as well. Drop that down there. I feel like I've got loads of leg space and stuff. Probably feel like kicking my legs up. I'm not at the bottom of my bed in a dark corner anymore. I feel like I can properly let myself like stretch about and stuff. This is a happy move for me, you know, to be over here instead of over there. Also bought myself some mushy peas. Probably eat these on a weekend so that there's only me as the after effects of them. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but I do like them. I like these with mint sauce on. Just absolutely love them with mint sauce on. So, and bachelors are probably my favourites. Although I can't tell that much difference between mushy peas, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, I'd just have that for my tea with some like um, mint sauce on. I forgot the name of it, even though I've just said it, you know. <laughs> anyway, I got them. Okie dokie, next bag. I tell you, I've rifled through these bags and taken all sorts out. Right, I got myself some coconut milk. But then when I went back second time, they'd got the cheaper one in. So I'm slightly mad about the fact that I bought the expensive one. Um, but they just didn't have the cheap one in when I went. But anyway, it's the Blue Dragon Coconut Milk. Absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. Love making myself like vegetables with rice and just a bit of coconut and chilli in it. I've probably told you this before, but anyway, that's what I like. And then this lasts me ages. Although what I tend to do is make the vegetables and coconut milk freeze some of it. And then, because otherwise it goes off in tin, and then just make myself a bit of rice and stick some chilli on to go with it. So, very happy that I've now got it home, but wish I'd got the cheap one, really. The cheap one's just as good. It really is. But anyway, there's that one. Next up, oh, I've got myself some beans, but I've eaten a can. Okay. <laughs> I just fancied I had nothing to put on toast the other morning. And then I remembered I'd bought beans, right? So, this were actually a three-pack 
Now this size is perfect for me, absolutely perfect. So um, the other morning, what morning were it? Were it Friday morning? I got up and it were like 10 o'clock because I had Friday off. Um, it were about 10 o'clock in the morning. And it, so it would be, it was sort of brunch, brunch. I counted it as my dinner. You know what I mean? My lunch, right? It's dinner here. What do you call it? We call it dinner and tea here. But I know some people call it lunch and tea or, lun or lunch and dinner and then lunch and supper, right? <laughs> okay, here it's dinner and tea, okay. So I had it for me dinner, basically. I had a can of these on some toast and it was so nice. I really, really enjoyed it. So I got myself two more cans to be going on with. Like I say, I could buy the big cans and probably get them cheaper at like Asda's or something like that. But while I'm in home bargains, I treat myself to, to some Heinz. They're my favourite beans, so there's those and I've still got two to go at. Got myself some kitchen foil, got 15 metres of it. Um, I use this quite a bit, you know. Well, I say quite a bit. I'd say once a week I use it, so maybe not quite a bit. Yeah, maybe not so much, but I like to have it in in case I need to cover some in my oven because I've got limited numbers of um, sort of trays and things to put in there. So, yeah, and I quite like this stuff. Extra thick. It is an all. It's really good quality. I like it. Really, really good quality. So, yeah, tin foil. It's not exciting, but, you know, I needed it. I really needed some. Bought myself a couple of new dish cloths. Oh, my goodness. I forgot I got them. Hang on, before I show you my dishcloths, I'll show you my oranges. Blinking, oh my, I better stick these in the fridge. So I bought a pack of oranges. Yeah, they still smell nice. Um, they did smell super nice in the shop, and they're really soft ones, so proper juicy. Um, but I forgot I'd got them. Otherwise, I'd have stuck them in my fridge, because it will take me all week to get through them, you know. I do like an orange. Only certain oranges, though. When they're those... Ones that feel quite dry, I don't like them. I only like the super juicy ones. There's four of a mint bag. But yeah, I got those. So back to my dishcloths. Bought a couple of new big dishcloths because mine are looking a bit shabby now. Um, yeah, I like these ones because you can put them in wash. You can also bleach them, which is what I do. They're only cheap as well. Just bought two of them just to like build up my stock again. Because one or two of them I've used as floor cloths when I've tipped a pot of coffee on my floor. You know what I mean? So I've ended up with them really getting manky and not... You couldn't really use them for dishcloths. I'm still using them for floor cloths. But anyway, I needed some more dishcloths. So I got these. Just the two of them. And that's enough for me. Right, the other bag. Oh my goodness, I forgot about these. Yeah, these are not quite so slimming, are they? <laughs> Pop veggie discs. Uh, sweet chilli flavour. They did have them in uh, sour cream or summer as well. But um, they had loads of milk in them. So these ones, um, these are all right. I can eat these. I'm almost certain I can eat these. Yeah, vegan friendly, gluten free. Brilliant. Let's have a look at them. This is fatal me opening this pack. Because this afternoon when I'm out my having and I'm waiting on my tea. I know I'll end up picking these out. Oh my goodness. What do these look like? Look at them. What on earth? They're not attractive, are they? Mm. They're horrible. I'm not going to lie about it. They're horrible. I'm just getting my cloth there. They are minging. Absolutely disgusting. I don't like them at all. I'll just have a slurp of my coffee. Absolutely awful those. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend. You know, 10 out of 10 would definitely not recommend, right? Um, they're disgusting. No, I definitely won't eat those. I'll take them into work, see if anybody else wants them. Some people might like them. I can't stand them. Right, next up, I bought myself some of my heavy duty bin liners. I wanted to get more than one pack of these, but they literally had one left. I think words got round that these are literally the best bin liners that um, you can find because they are heavy duty as well, but they're a good size and they're not expensive. So got myself some more bin liners. I was totally out of them as well, as well as food and drinks and stuff. I was totally out of bin liners and I was out of these um, little sponges for scrubbing stuff. 
Um, now we use these all over at shop, right? And I need to clean my bathroom desperately. But all I've got is like this um, rubber glove thing that's got like prickly bits on it that you can go around. But it doesn't do around your taps and stuff. It's just too um, big to get in around your taps, you know. And I use them for washing up as well as my dishcloths for wiping around and stuff. So I got myself some more of these. They had a pack of, were they 10? They might have been 12 that were cheaper than this. But they looked really flimsy. And they, I know these ones good quality, so got these. Power Action six pack, hand grip, non-scratch sponge scourers. The brilliant for getting around your taps. Absolutely brilliant, so love them. I'm just stocking up on stuff that I needed. I'm doing a right lot of clothes shopping, you know, I don't like that. Because I got plenty of clothes and I do not want to go an like, uh, through another month like January. Ever, ever, ever again, where I were completely living hand to mouth. Um, so yeah, I'm just buying stuff that I need, just stuff that I need. Although I did go to charity shops. I did buy a few bits from charity shops, I'm not gonna lie. So those, look out for that haul coming up. But yeah, I'm not buying from expensive places this month. It's all gonna be like proper stuff I need. Um, for the time being anyway. We'll see how long that lasts as well, you know. Anyway, next up I got myself some bold. I was super happy to see it were now in um, a cardboard box because those plastic tubs used to drive me crazy they're just so you can't recycle them you know what I mean so whereas these eco click box is it all right let's have a look see if I can get into it great okie dokie so there my little pods inside be able to recycle this fantastic so pleased about that yeah, frosted eucalyptus. Mrs. Hinge? No way. Yeah, they smell really nice. They're fine then. They did have a bigger pack, but, you know, I was sort of thinking I've got to carry it home and I were walking, so I just went for this pack that's got 19 pods in it. It'll probably last me all month anyway, you know, maybe two months. I only put a couple of wash loads in a week. There's only me, you know. So anyway, got those because I were out of those as well. Next up... Bought myself this. This were a treat purchase, this. Sweet chilli and garlic stir fry sauce. You get a three in it. I thought that'll be brilliant. All right, no, I thought there were an alarm coming in. It's just a noisy summer or other. Okay. Oh, no, it's summer carrying. See, I can see now. It's summer carrying loads of bales of hay. Okay. Whatever. Okie dokie. Next up, yeah, like I say, I got these. Now, these will be brilliant, right? It says vegan now the i couldn't see anything in that would make it glue that it would have gluten no it's absolutely fine so um i can take a small hit anyway you know what i mean in fact i've started realizing that I'm probably more allergic to barley than anything so unless it explicitly explicitly says barley i'm usually okay um, yeah, when I first sort of got diagnosed, they were avoiding everything. I mean, literally everything. But I've realised I can eat wheat. I just can't eat anything that's got barley in it. So barley really badly affects me. So this ain't, definitely ain't got barley in it. And there's a three pack. This will go in with just some vegetables. Bit of rice. Got that. You know, sweet chilli and garlic. I'll probably stink the next day of garlic, but I'm not fussed. So, yeah, I got myself a three-pack of those. They weren't that expensive. They had chow mein as well, but I couldn't get that one because that definitely had barley in it. So, anyway, what else have I got? Down to my last few bits. I bought myself a little candle. These have shot up in price. This were 80p, I think 79p. But I really liked the fact that it said beach days on it and it smelt really nice. Yeah, it smells really fresh, really lovely. I have got a couple of Yankee candles that I got at Christmas from, um, well, one I got for my birthday from Dean, one of my daughters, and the other one I got from Neve at Christmas. Well, you know, she's one of my daughters, obviously. Um, so I'm still burning my way through one of those, and the other one's under the sink. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to start with the more summer fragrances. So I got this Wickford & Co one. Yeah, it's making me look forward to spring. Hate the summer, 
hate working in the sweating hot weather when you haven't got any um, air conditioning. But I quite like the spring. So I got that one. Then I bought myself some hay fever tablets because every so often I'll have something that brings me out in a rash. Right? So my skin starts being on fire. So usually it works. So usually what ends up happening is we'll change the washing up liquid or we'll change the... Um, I don't know, the cleaning sprays and stuff and my whole arms just come out in like sort of red wheels things, you know, like red blotches. So I like to have some of these in, I'm completely out. So got myself some hair fever tablets. Um, allergy and hair fever tablets, they're really for allergies, you know. So that's those. And then last up, I saw Bachelors um, Rice and the only one that I could get that didn't have meaty stuff in, or bizarrely, or didn't have like loads of wheaty barley stuff, with this chicken one. So I bought myself some chicken one. I just thought that'd be nice. Um, have it in and then at some point I'll fancy some sort of different flavour rice. I do eat an extraordinary amount of rice, which is happened why I've put on so much weight. But you know, I still like it. So, um, so I bought myself some of that. Okay, so I think that's all my stuff from Home Bargains. It's not a massive haul, but quite a lot of stuff I needed, you know. I think when you've been skint for a month, you know, you just, everything sort of run down, isn't it? You know, all your supplies and everything else. Um, although I do, I still have two uh, tubes of toothpaste. Uh, so I don't know what I'm doing with that. And an extraordinary amount of body wash because um, I bought a load before Christmas to do a haul and also got gifted a load at Christmas. So I've now got... Um, the European uh, body wash mountain under my sink in my kitchen, which is where I keep all my supplies. So I definitely haven't run out of that. Um, at some point, I'll go out and buy myself some toilet paper, but at least I now know I've got tissues. So that's good, isn't it? But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!